Good naked, bad naked. Challenging society's skewed perception of nudity and embracing body positivity. By Matthew McDermott. I wonder if there is any naturist in North America who has not heard a reference to Seinfeld when the subject of nudity comes up with a non-nudist. It is up there with don't cook bacon naked as one of the most cliche responses to nudism. It always bothered me, even before I was a nudist. In the Seinfeld episode, Jerry starts dating a nudist, Melissa. At first, he is delighted by the idea of being able to see his girlfriend nude all the time, but soon, he dislikes it because she is not as attractive while coughing or opening a pickle jar. Jerry concludes that there is good naked and bad naked and we should keep the bad naked to ourselves. I know that others have referenced this idea when they learned I am often nude at home. And to someone in use to non-sexual nudity, it makes sense. In our society, we only see carefully curated nudity and advertising or pornography mainly, and we typically only see the nude bodies of regular people being played for ridicule and laughs. Our society is conditioned to think in these terms. Attractive views of the opposite sex are good, all other nudity is bad. I wonder if those who lean on this idea of good naked and bad naked understand what they are really saying. The impact of sexualized nudity on societal values. Because when we call the attractive nudity good naked and the non-attractive nudity bad naked, it's making a very particular judgment. That judgment is this, sexualized nudity is good and non-sexualized nudity is bad. What a strange place to draw the line. This idea actively encourages, even demands, that simple nudity be sexualized. It rejects nudity that is not sexualized, nudity that shows our wrinkles or rolls or other imperfections in their true state. And that's what's at stake here, the truth itself. The human body in its true form, human beings as their true selves. The idea reinforces some extremely damaging societal concepts. Women are to be sexualized and objectified. Older people, fat people, injured or scarred people are all to be rejected. We cannot be our true selves without first qualifying ourselves with a whole series of filters and checks and limits. We are not allowed to simply be, just in case our being is bad, as judged by others. The real value that this exposes is that a person's intrinsic worth is solely tied to their attractiveness as judged by society. Is this really a value we want to promote? Is this something our society truly wants to espouse? Now, I don't think Jerry Seinfeld is someone to look to for philosophy or ethics and never has been. But this idea somehow permeated society's consciousness and made the good naked slash bad naked duality practically universal. As a nudist, you're bound to run into someone parroting this phrase. It would be a good thing, I think, to make whoever is saying it stop and think about what they are saying. And as nudists, we need to loudly confront the idea that nudity is only good if it can be sexualized. Naturists must become leaders in our society, both with our values and our actions. Embracing all bodies, a call for change. We must ensure our own judgment of people embraces all bodies, and we must avoid judging people, nude or clothed, according to their sexual attractiveness. And we must avoid promoting the good naked and negatively judging the bad naked and celebrate the nude human body for its intrinsic value, no matter how it compares to our society's standards of beauty. The Seinfeld episode aired about 40 years ago, but our society's attitude towards nudity has barely changed. Making that change happen is necessary, and it can start with us. We hope you're enjoying Planet Nude. If so, please consider a paid subscription. Your membership comes with exclusive content and supports our work. Subscribe at www.planetnew.co. This episode of Planet Nude Podcast is sponsored by the Naturist Action Committee, dedicated to making naturism an accepted part of society. Learn more at www.naturistaction.org.